Hey, that's Moo out of the way. Let's go, Nico. Where? To see Bijou. She's been telling me a crock of lies since day one, and right now, I want the truth. So you're telling me that Bijou and Ops were having an affair? Yeah, so, she's got some explaining to do. In the daylight, and without the fog of incense, the apartment looked even weirder. Georges, how delightful to see you. May I present my friend Nico? Georges and I go way back. Oh, really? Well, don't worry, my dear. I won't steal him. Though he is rather a cutie. <clears throat> uh, Bijou, we're here to clear up a few points, if you don't mind. How are you, Bijou? I have the teeniest of headaches, Cherie. It always happens when I sleep in the afternoon. I figured it was the champagne before the nap that had done the damage. I need you to be honest with me, Bijou. Do you know a painter called Hobbes? No, I don't think so. He certainly knows you. So many artists, darling. One can't remember them all. Did you know that the provenance was fake? For la maledictio? I had no idea. Lane said you had him approve it. Silly fool is getting confused again. Hobbes appears to know you very well. I saw a sketch of you in his portfolio. Must have been a study for a painting. Are you sure there's nothing else? Quite sure. Bijou wouldn't be interested in that. Bijou, what do you think about this? I'm not sure, Georges. Sorry. That's lovely, dear. That was almost a great idea. Almost. This is a note from Hobbes that I found in your safe. How did you get access to that? How dare you? Bijou, you gave me the keys. I did? Oh, my head. I don't remember. We didn't... Do anything else, did we, Georges? The note is addressed to you, so Lane was telling the truth. You were in charge of the paperwork. Oh, so what if I was? That's not illegal? Yes. The note from Hobbes makes it quite clear that you knew him rather well. Oh, all right, I did. So, you lied to me.
So you had the provenance made. You knew it was fake. I'm not admitting anything. I believe this is for you. A diamond ring? What has that to do with me? A gift for you, from Henri. Henri bought me so many expensive things. He never needed to. I think Henri asked Madovsky for more money so that he could buy you that ring. And maybe that's the reason he was shot. Nico. No, hon. She's right. Henri always felt he had to fight to keep me. Truth is, I love them both. We and Henri. And now Henri is dead because of me. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I promise I will tell the truth this time. So, you and Hobbes are lovers? We have been ever since 75. Henri never knew about it. They were in a band together back then. So you were unfaithful to Henri right from the start. It was never cheating. I love them both. So you had Hobbes fake the provenance so that Lane would approve it for the insurance? Wilf passed it to me, and I persuaded Lane to sign it. He never knew it was a fake. Wilf is brilliant at what he does. So what was Madovsky's role in all this? It was all his idea. He'd had an offer on La Melodixio from someone, so Wilf put Medovsky in touch with me and Henri. He wanted to cash in on both the sale and the insurance. He set up the security company to deal with the robbery. I've been such a fool. Henri was never supposed to die. I know you didn't mean for that to happen. Wilf called me yesterday trying to comfort me. He said he would take care of me, that he had plans. Does that mean he has the painting? Yes. He joked about a secret place. Something about the original being behind my behind. I didn't understand. Thanks, Bijou. You've been very helpful. You know, I had the strangest dream earlier. Henri was here, and we danced together again. Such bliss. That must have been wonderful. Anyway, thanks again for your time, and... <clears throat> Nico, I think it's time we went to London. George, do you have something you need to tell me? No. Can't think of anything right now. Well, let's go, shall we? So in the end, Hobbes was at the heart of the whole scam. All we have to do now is find the painting. Yeah, then we blow everything open and nail Madovsky. I get that front page story? And I get to clear my name, and keep my job. So much for your devil-worshipping Gnostic, Josh. Well, you know me. Nothing I like more than a good conspiracy. Hold on a second. What's the matter? This chain. It's from the gate. So? It's been forced. A break-in? Or maybe a break-out? Hobbes escaping from Lady Pirma? 
<laughs> Maybe. But this doesn't feel right. I didn't need to turn the radio on. A blast on the horn had worked last time. Hmm. Ominous. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. No Hobbs. Out cold, probably. Hey, Nico. This drain pipe looks climbable. Are you mad? Hey, get out of here! Seagull problem, George? That's one nasty bird. It was worth another try. Get lost! Beaten by a seagull again? That is one hell of a sharp beak. <laughs> hey, Nico. What, Josh? Do me a favor and honk the horn. No problem. The crane was rusted solid. I'd need more force to free it. I decided to leave the dumpster alone. Hey, Nico, take a look at this. Hmm, do you think someone used it to force the gate? Possibly. But their loss is our gain. You never know when you're going to need a crowbar.
Get lost. Beaten by a seagull again? That is one hell of a sharp beak. Hey, Nico. What's yours? Nico, could you honk the horn again? Sure. They didn't go together. Hey, Nico. What's yours? Sorry, Nico. Once more with the horn. Hurry up, Charles. Wait there, Nico. I'll come and let you in. 